Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another episode brought to you by Mojave Outdoor. Anytime you guys are in the market for a Kaiser knife, this is the one of the best places to go, if not the best, because they specialize in Kaiser. They have absolutely nothing but Kaiser products, Kaiser knives, and they also have a lot of pretty sweet exclusives. So definitely always should be your first resource for Kaiser knives, Mojave Outdoor. If you can't find them at Mojave Outdoor, White Mountain Knives is always a good place to check too. But today we have a couple from Mojave Outdoors. These are not brand new models, but they are new versions of very popular models from the past that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. And we're going to do an unboxing, uh, an overview, and kind of give you my first impressions on these versions of uh, some very popular models. Before I do that, though, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Uh, my channel continues to grow, and it's only because of all of you guys and gals watching, and I really do appreciate that, so thank you very much. Now, let's get right into it, because we have um, a couple very sweet knives here, and I have them down below the camera so you can't see the label, because I don't want to give away any... Uh, any hints of what they may be, um, but I have to say uh, they're both pretty impressive. And let's pull the first one out of the box right now. These are both going to be linked below in the description of the video, you guys. Um, use the code Wayne's World if you decide to pick one of these up. Uh, throw one in your cart and use the use the code Wayne's World. That's going to save you ten percent. I'll put that in the in the description of the video as well, kind of a reminder. Um, but hey, whenever you can get ten percent off. Yeah, you want to do that. And, and I'll be totally transparent. It does help support the channel, um, but I do greatly appreciate it. And uh, it's kind of uh, helping me, helping you. So uh, very good thing. And uh, I really appreciate Mojave Outdoors. Set me up with that discount code. Now, okay, I'll stop rambling. What do we have here? What do we have? We have the Latvin Mini Iron Man Edition, which is pretty sweet. If you guys have seen my original review of this, um, there's no denying I wasn't the biggest fan in the world of this knife first time around. Um, there's a couple specific reasons. I'm going to touch on all those and uh, give my overall thoughts of this. But as you can see here, what we have is obviously Iron Man colors. You have the little, uh, the sh little shield there on the pivot collar. And then on the other side, you have uh, kind of some blue hardware there. And then the rest of it is bronze. Um, in the backspacer, bronze, brass, I, I will call it bronze. Um, nice Iron Man colors. A uh, couple things that kind of stick out to me that I, I wish were a little different, but overall, um, overall, this, in my opinion, is an improvement from the first lot and many that I did review, and I'm going to explain that here in just a second. But for now, we're going to put this aside and set the box aside and take a look and see what's in the other box. And the other one may even be a little more attractive to you guys. It, I, I don't know. These are both actually somewhat similar knives, but still radically different, obviously. And uh, what do we have here? What 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 is this? This is... The new denim line from Kaiser, and I gotta say, right out of the box, um, they're nailing it. This is this is very cool, very very different. Instead of just the plastic uh, little fixture they set the knife in, you get this denim rollout that has um, a little Velcro patch thing there with the Kaiser logo. You can obviously put any other patches on there you want. Um, and then when you open it up, we have a Kaiser Feist. We have a Kaiser Feist in denim, um, which I, I don't want to get, well, you know, we'll, we'll go back and forth between these knives and talk about them, but a lot of impressive things about this version of the Kaiser Feist for me, and this is also the first time I've ever handled the uh, the drop point blade shape of this. I've ha I have the reverse Tonto version, but I've never had the drop point version. So uh, very, very interesting to have in hand finally, and... Uh, it's, it, I gotta say, it's not very different from the reverse Tonto in terms of, you know, action and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's reach around approved. Is the Latvin Mini, let's just, let's get the reach arounds out of the way right now. Yeah, yeah, they're both reach around approved. The, uh, the detent on the Latvin Mini is slightly stronger than the Kaiser Feist, so that was worth noting. Re real quick, I want to touch on this bag again one more time, or this roll. 
Um, this is really cool for a few ways. It, one, it, it obviously helps protect the knife a little more. It gives you another way to carry the knife around. And it gives you more... Uh, more spots to carry a knife in so if i'm going somewhere if you know if, I, if i'm on vacation or something if you guys some of you may know if you follow me on instagram i just got back from colorado so i'm, I'm kind of on the go a lot so i always take obviously more than one knife with me um so this especially for just like a little weekend getaway this is a really nice option to throw one two you know a third knife in and in a pen if you, if you if you carry pens or anything like that and uh just roll them right up and uh yeah throw it in the suitcase so really like what they did there that that's adding value to um to a product that um in all honesty may not have really needed much more value considering of what you get in the knife so uh really do like what they did there i think that's a great idea and uh just a nice little uh Nice little cherry on top. So very well thought out from Kaiser on that angle of the denim roll with the denim feist. Now let's do a couple quick size comparisons to see uh, what we got here with these two knives and uh, then go from there. So as you can see, um, these two right here are actually very, very similar. I'll do some quick, very quick specs on these. Um, just the absolute must knows. Um, for the Lotvin Mini, you have an overall length of 6.85 inches with a blade length of 2.99 inches, and we have N690 steel on the Lotvin Mini Iron Man. And now going into the Kaiser Feist, and er, I said Kaiser, Kaiser. Wow, the Micarta Feist in denim. Um, we have an overall length of 6.5 inches with a blade length of 2.8 inches and 154 cm steel on the feist. So uh, that's different. I, you know, when it comes down to those two steel guys, I, I honestly do like both. Um, I feel like I get better edge retention out of 154 cm, but you have better corrosion resistant properties in the N690. But you still have, in my opinion, good enough corrosion resistance in the 154 cm so it, you're not really i mean is one steel better than the other that depends where you live in the country what you do with your knives um they're both adequate steels the, they're both fine um i would kind of like to see kaiser pick just like one budget steel and just go with that whether it be n690 or 154 cm or 14 c 28 n maybe but regardless and just just pick one and kind of streamline it it's nice to have you know the whole vanguard line because i i believe these are both vanguard models um or just you know knives under 100 dollars something you know f find a find something that makes sense and go with it so it kind of doesn't make the uh the 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 person that's going to be buying the knife the consumer question uh what steel it is it's it's nice just to know oh kaiser always uses 154 cm but regardless um those are your specs for that oh and prices 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 89 dollars for the latvin mini and 75 dollars for the denim feist so um in terms of price i i don't really have any issues there um I, I will say, uh, well, we'll do that when we get into each of the knives. But, okay, size comparisons. We're on size comparisons. Getting a little lost in the weeds here. Um, Spyderco Para 3 and Civivi Elementum. I think that's all you guys need. And I, I really, I think a lot of you probably have a good idea of how big the feist was in general to begin with. But there you go. I think that's going to give you everything you need to know for size comparisons for these two knives. And uh, now let's get to talking about these two knives. Because... Um, like I said, first I'm going to go on the Lotvin Mini because if you guys saw my original review, I did originally review the Lotvin Mini in the uh, kind of like the Tuxedo Edition where it had a, a white uh, fuller looking thing here going down the handle. Um, and I was a little more critical of this than I am most Kaisers. That was probably the most critical I've ever been on a Kaiser, to be honest. Um, my issues were a couple things. One, in terms of aesthetics... Um, the folder they had going down the middle here, it was just one straight solid kind of like way oblong oval and it, it just didn't go with the lines of the handle because you kind of have this little bit of swell out here on the belly and the folder that came in there, it didn't kind of go with that. It just went straight. So it kind of made this look a little more blobby and unattractive than it would have been if the lines would have actually, you know, kind of worked together with it. So that kind of threw the aesthetics off for me a little. I definitely do prefer the one solid uh, maroonish red color they have here on the handle. And I really do like the aluminum. The aluminum does feel very good. These are aluminum handles. 
and uh, or aluminum scales because as you see on the inside, there are some stainless steel liners um, that have some milling to reduce weight. Um, not a very heavy knife at all. Um, definitely in line for the size of the knife, in my opinion. Um, but the aluminum does feel good. It's obviously smooth, but I don't have any grip issues whatsoever. This kind of has like that it almost feels like a vapor blast or something to where you don't feel any texture, but it just kind of, it, it still gives you that little bit of tackiness when you're holding it in your hand. So um, that's all good. No issues there. Um, I love the way they did this liner lock access. Um, they kind of smoothed it out. As you can see, it's got the little area that's been uh, knocked down or contoured a little for your finger. So that works very well in closing the blade. Um, continuing and just wrapping up with the aesthetics, um, I really like the way they did the Iron Man theme for the most part. I have one issue with it, but the backspacer is very nice. Um, I love that backspacer actually. The way the shine it has, the way it pops, um, definitely is very Iron Man ish. So, like that a lot. Screws are cool, pivots cool. Um, the blue is fine because there is some blue on Iron Man if, if, if you know him well enough. And then, um, the pocket clip. That's, I, why didn't they, I, I, I don't understand why they didn't bronze that pocket clip out. I, the pocket clip, now I will say the actual um, design of this pocket clip is very nice. Um, it's not too long. There's no hot spots. Um, when you're talking about it from an ergonomic standpoint, uh, it feels very, very good in hand. So no issue there. But I just don't understand why they didn't bronze that out. I don't know if it was something they did after the fact or what. Um, but I really wish that was bronzed. I may even drop this on my stove and try and, uh, do my own little heat anodizing. I, I've done it before. It didn't work great, but it worked. Um, so I may do that because this really, it just, it just kind of looks, I, I know the blade's satin, but, um, this is such a color heavy design. You don't want something just plain satin pop down at the bottom there. So I may try heat anodizing this, which is really easy. You just set your, your skillet to like... I don't know, hot, I, I, I'm no professional, just set it to hot, drop the clip on it, and uh, we'll wait till it changes colors and take it off. Um, obviously, be very, very extremely careful. You probably, I'm just gonna say, don't try it at home because I don't wanna be responsible for you bringing your kitchen down, um, but it works, I've, I've done it before. Um, but regardless, uh, yeah, that's my only issue aesthetically with this one is the clip. I, I, I do wish that would have been bronzed. I think that would have looked perfect if that was bronzed. You'd have a very uh, Iron Maned out handle. But regardless, even as is, still a nice pop of color with that handle. Looks a lot better without that uh, kind of like a fake fuller going down the middle. Um, so I am a fan of that. And overall, in terms of ergos, uh, feels pretty decent in hand. Now, when you get up to the deployment of this guy and the tabs, the front flipper tab and the and the regular flipper tab, that was another spot I was very critical on um, was this area back here. The front area was a little nicer. This is definitely a front flipper. It works fine. I have no issue with uh, how you actually deploy the blade, but you have to do it a certain way. Sometimes when I deploy a front flipper, um, I'll come up on, a, on the side and go from right here. And you can still do that, but I'll tell you, this, the, you feel this point a little more when you come up on the side of it, kind of like, you know, instead of coming right over the top of it like this and flipping it out. Um, if you come over at it on the side, I can find this uh, corner here to be slightly aggressive to my finger to where I can still do it. And if I have to just do it once or twice, it's fine. But I definitely prefer a more front on approach with this one. And, oops, and that works a little better. You don't feel it quite as quite as bad um but even at that it's not it's not one that would make me be like oh i i just can't do this this no no pass no it's not that bad um but you just have to know how to uh get that front flipper going in an area to where it doesn't bother you and as you can see the action is quite good after not even taking it apart no disassembly no cleaning or lubing or anything um front flipping action is really really good on this guy um, now for the regular flipper, um, this doesn't feel, at least to my recollection, this one doesn't feel as sharp or as aggressive as the flipper on the original Lotvin Mini I had. That was one of my bigger complaints was I don't know why they didn't knock this down or smooth it out. And I'm a little confused because it kind of looks the same, but when I go to flip it, it I don't feel that same there, there was like a little bit of pokiness I felt when I flipped the original Lavin Mini, and I don't feel that with this one. This one does feel better. Um, I think the detent's the same. 
the de it, it feels and sounds the same. I'm a little perplexed right now, but um, it does feel better. Um, so I don't really have a huge issue with it. I still don't think it's the greatest flipper tab design ever, but it still gives you a very clean look when the knife's closed, and I do like that. Um, so as it is, since it's not giving me any issues on deployment, um, I still stand by what I said on the original Lotvin Mini because um, I clearly remember not liking that one so much. I actually sold that to a viewer um, who he actually really liked it. Um, I, I believe his name was William. I sent it to him and he really liked it. He read, died at red, I think. And, and he was a fan of it. So it just goes to show you too. Um, you know, my one opinion doesn't exactly, uh, you know, it, it, it's one opinion. That's why you should watch more than just one knife reviewer and not just Wayne Sharp World. I mean, definitely watch Wayne Sharp World. Um, but, you know, watch Nick Shabazz, watch Neves Knives, watch Sharp and Blade, watch, you know, watch those other guys out there that are doing that because they're all different opinions. And, uh, you know, we're, we're all different opinions, different people, different minds. So it's nice to get a compilation of thoughts and opinions before you go making a decision. Um, but, yes, this one here is definitely better. Definitely better and... Uh, a nice surprise, a nice surprise. I think breaking the detent on this one too. It's just, maybe this is a more dialed in detent. You know, sometimes detents are a little off, but yeah, really, really like the action on this Iron Man Latvin Mini, um, as well as the front flipping action. That works very well as well. So there's the Latvin Mini Iron Man, and now let's get into this feist. Um, I, I, I guess obviously the Feist I gravitated to first just because I already had the reverse Tonto and I was very excited to check this one out. And I got to say, first off, the most, the first thing that popped out to me was the quality of this denim micarta is absolutely on point. Um, very, very little fraying, whatever little fraying you see there, that's going to go away as you carry this guy. And it's probably going to wear in really nice, just like a pair of jeans. You guys know how jeans wear in and they get real comfortable and they look just right. That's what this guy's going to do. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I'm obviously, you guys know, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of Justin Lundquist designs in general. Um, the guy just knows what he's doing when it comes to a front flipper. And, uh, you have that same vibe and same feel and same action here. Um, love the way they did the liner lock release or access. Um, it's another very easy way to just reach in there, knock that blade down. Um, this, the, the close is, is a little smoother on this Feist than the Latvin Mini, but of course, very different blades. This is a thinner, lighter blade um, and just different construction overall. So um, it, you really can't compare the two. I mean, you can, but it doesn't necessarily hold a lot of weight. I'm sure you guys know that. Um, but the pocket clip on this guy is pretty good. I, I wish it would have a little more to grab onto when you're going to deploy it, but it's it's, it's barely enough. Um, but the detent on this guy is dialed in so well. You know, the thing about the Feist, it can be a little intimidating to some people because when you first go to flip it, you you do kind of feel like, ooh, this, this doesn't really feel that, you know, like I don't know how well this is going to work. And then you just, boom, pop it out and it just crisp, snappy deployment, blade flies out. Um, there's no issues. And then you're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I can do this pretty easily. It's, it's really not a problem at all. So it, it's one of those knives that you have to flip it a couple times, you get the confidence and then you are good to go. And it really is a joy to deploy and, uh, just as fun to do that reach around with. So it's a great front flipper too. You guys have probably seen more reviews of this one than you have the Latvin Mini because there's been, um, my God, a countless different variations of this design. This is one of my favorites though, <clears throat> excuse me, because it's coming in at just 75 bucks. You have very nice new denim micarta and you got 154 CM steel. Um, so you have a great budget steel, great materials, great, fantastic fit and finish. Wish that clip was stone washed. Um, but other than that, man, it's, it's just good to go. Um, Big fan of this Feist and very impressed with this Latvin Mini. Um, you know, like I said, that last Latvin Mini I sold. I don't know if I'm going to sell this one. I really don't. Um, I, I already have a lot more knives than I need. But yeah, I really like the action on this one. Um, I'm really happy to say that too. I, 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 I hate giving bad reviews, guys. I don't like giving bad reviews. But I have to, to attain my credit within the community. So whenever I can say this is improved from a previous version, I'm always really happy to do that. And uh, and this one is. It really is. 
So there you guys go. There's the Latvin Mini Iron Man Edition and the good old, uh, we'll start to call it, uh, I, I maybe one of the Kaiser Goats because it's, uh, it's a very popular Kaiser model that they've done a lot with. Um, and this is the Kaiser Feist in denim in the new denim line. They're going to have uh, a few other models come out in this denim line. So keep your eyes open for that. Like I said before, these are both going to be linked below to pick these up. Um, use the discount Wayne's World for 10% off. And uh, let me know if you guys grab one. Uh, I don't think you're going to be disappointed with either one. Especially if you like the Latvin Mini originally, I would say you're going to like this one more. And the Feist um, just continues its run of greatness in terms of um, consistency in all the lines of you know quality, ergos action, aesthetics. It's, it's just a good one. It's really hard to go wrong with that one, especially at this price point and those materials. So there you go, guys. There's a couple new Kaisers for you. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.